Hi, I'm Crystal from Stirrups and Stitches. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create one of our laser cut silhouettes. The design we're doing is called Coming Along. The materials and tools you will need are a laser cut, bright batik, clear ruler, iron and board, cutting mat, quarter inch dowel, three and a half feet of ribbon, suction cup, black permanent marker, 45 millimeter wavy blade, and a rotary cutter. Cut open the package and remove the laser cut. Then carefully unroll and remove the packing paper. The laser cut will want to roll back up, but don't worry, it will lay flat once the backing paper is removed. To score the laser cut, use a ruler to measure down an inch and a half from the top. Using a sharp edge of a scissors or the tip of a seam ripper, score the paper to make the batik placement line. Carefully start peeling the paper at the batik placement line and remove to the bottom of the laser cut. Leave the scored section at the top. We will remove it later. Take precaution around the more detailed sections to prevent tearing. When choosing a background, try not to choose a fabric that has little color variations, as your finished product could look dull. This fabric has a lot of color variation, but with the dark color, you may lose some of the detail of the design. This batik has a variety of bright colors to bring out the detail of the design. Once you have found the right fabric, iron out all the wrinkles and choose where you want to place the laser cut. Be sure to save material on the edges if you want to make a frame. With the glue side on the batik, pat down the laser cut with your hands, making sure not to stretch the fabric. Check that all points are flattened with no wrinkles. Using a dry iron on cotton setting, start at the center of the laser cut and press for three seconds. Do not over iron as this will disintegrate the glue. Continue lifting iron and pressing out from center until all the design is ironed down. Run your hand over the design to see that all parts are ironed down. Press the loose pieces if necessary. Lay the ruler an eighth of an inch to a half of an inch over edge of black fabric and cut using a wavy blade to make of the batik border. Cut your dowel an inch and a half longer than your hanging is wide. You can put each end in a pencil sharpener to give it a pointed look or you can buy wooden ends to put on. Color a half inch in from each end of the dowel. Lay your hanging laser side down on an ironing board. Then peel off the remaining paper. Center the dowel at the top of the batik and fold the black fabric over it and iron. Choose a ribbon color that highlights one of the colors in the batik you chose. Finish the hanging by tying the ribbon to each end. 
you can curl the ends of the ribbon with a curling iron and hairspray. Hang your finished product in a window or on a wall.